Hello and welcome or welcome back to the boss house. I'm Bo. This is my journey to find financial stability for me, my partner and his three kids. My life's very chaotic at budget by paycheck. This is my monthly net worth tracker. Um, I just started this a couple months ago, but I like doing it and I, I actually like it a lot better than uh, the normal like end of the month trackers that the Budget Mom's Budget by Paycheck Workbook comes with. So this is what I transitioned into doing every month. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna start with my assets. Uh, if you don't know what a net worth is, basically it's what you have versus what you owe um, and, and, and what's left over is your net worth. So we're gonna start with what I have, my assets. Um, I took the liberty of checking my accounts before this because we, we don't need that kind of, of hassle. And also I record on my phone, so that wouldn't work very well. So uh, for my house savings, I have $12,558.96. In my checking, I currently have uh, 13, oh, oh. This math isn't mathing. This math isn't mathing. I forgot to update. I forgot to update my checking balance, but we're going to go with this because things are in flux because they always are. Um, because when you transfer funds, it does not it does not always disappear versus reappear in the proper accounts like immediately. It takes a few days. So of course, you know, this is how I roll anyway. My stuff is already wrong. Um, but anyway, that is my checking account balance. And then buffer is $1,000.44. And my buffer is just, um, it. this varies wildly day to day. Um, this, um, this bucket is basically so that I don't have to put money back in the bank when I unstuff something, when I unstuff cash. So uh, I just keep this in the account so I can just transfer money freely instead of like putting cash back in there. Um, emergency fund is $1,033. Uh, tax savings is... 13.02 and 57 cents. Subscriptions is $287.62. Uh, this is all in, I do keep it in my cash wallet, but it's in funny money. It's in monopoly money. The actual cash is in the bank. So that's what that is. I didn't feel like counting that. Um, but now we're actually to the point where, yeah, we're at the we're at the point where I should start actually counting what I have. So let's get started with that. Okay. So registration and license. We have 120, 40, 60. 80, 90, 200, 205, 206, 7, 8, 9. So 209. And then da, 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 da. this is why I don't do stuffing videos anymore. Okay, Christmas should be $3. This never changes really. I'm not going to change it until after I spend money for Christmas. So yeah, $3. And this is just what was left over after what I spent on Christmas last year. Okay. So $3. High school reunion is $300. I don't feel like going to find the envelope because of course I forgot to bring that, uh, but it hasn't changed. I haven't spent anything. Uh, the penny challenge is $306.80. And, 
Uh, a lot of that is in change because every time I build up to a dollar in change, I, cha I switch this out for an actual dollar bill. Um, so my, um, this, if I, if I count this, it's not going to add up to what that is because it's just, it's too much of a hassle to try to like bring funny money for it instead because it's, it's all the change. Um, so in any case, thousand dollar challenge, we have fully funded it as of Thursday. So now it is a thousand dollars in the bank. Thousand dollars in the bank. Thousand dollars in the bank. And then two thousand dollar challenge is five hundred, a thousand, eleven hundred. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, $1,173. Right? Yep. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It's this one. Okay. $2,000 challenge. Da -da 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 -da. $1,173. And then unstuffed cash. Let's see how much I have loose here. Five, six, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine dollars in unstuffed cash. I only go to the ATM. I do not go into the bank. So uh, if if things don't add up correctly, I just I just round it up to get cash out of the bank. So that's nine dollars, and then clown repellent, one of my favorite places to put money. It's getting real fat. We got fat stacks here for clown repellent. I'm gonna try to keep it in order. So clown repellent is my Chicago bucks. The, the G dollars are from the uh, Federal Bank of Chicago. So, uh, and that's where I live. So this is, I'm, I'm saving every G dollar that I come across. So we have one, two, three, I hate when it's facing the wrong way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 46 dollars in clown repellent. 46 okay 46 dollars and we are sticking with my house value of 200,000 I believe I think that's what we were going with or it might have been 220 pretty sure I used 200,000 last time but let me see yeah 200,000 um so that is that and then for my capital one credit card um, that is 75, 27, 45. I paid off a nice little chunk of this. And then for my student loan, I still owe, where is it? I wrote this down. I swear I wrote this down. Did I not? I did not. Good grief. Okay. What was the last time? I haven't paid anything on it, so it shouldn't have changed. Four eight two six seven nine. And this changed from Great Lakes to Nelnet. I haven't accessed the Nelnet yet, so whatever. But I haven't paid anything, so this is still what this is. And then I owe my mortgage company one zero nine four two two eighty four. Um. 
So let's see how this adds up. Let's see if the math maths. Okay. So Okay, so this is two hundred twenty thousand five hundred and forty and fifteen cents. And then what do I owe? We have so that is one twenty one seven 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 oh eight. Okay, so to get my total net worth, I subtract liabilities from assets. So we're going to subtract that. Okay, so 98763.07 is my net worth. Uh, so that has gone up. So we're going to subtract this, so minus 9400530. So the total difference is 4757.77. So my net worth went up $4,700, and we're going to divide that by my total, my last month's net worth. So ninety four zero zero five thirty. So five percent. My net worth has gone up five percent. Um, I am perfectly happy with that. Um, of course, to be clear, um, part of what's going on here is. My part, my boyfriend, oh God, sorry for the thumping. My boyfriend crashed my car um, and the cash out for that was actually more than what I estimated the worth of my vehicle to be. So it did go up from that. Um, and also I've saved some money, but I, I always kind of undervalue things that I don't physically have. So like I'm, I'm gonna try to sell my house for way more than 200,000, but that's what I've been using as my house value just to be on the uh, on the safe side because I don't actually know what it's gonna go for. Like value is so subjective because my house is really only worth as much as someone else is gonna pay for it. Um, so I'd rather underestimate than overestimate and then have it be bad if that makes sense. Uh, so this is going to remain two hundred thousand until my house sells, and then of course my net worth will dramatically change <laughs> because uh, I'll see what I actually get. So uh, that's it for my monthly net worth. It has gone up over four thousand um, dollars, which is about five percent of my total net worth, and. This is about to go down dramatically again because I am selling my house. Um, so I'm going to blow through most of this house savings because it is for renovations for my house. Well, not necessarily renovations, but just fixing it up to sell. So a lot of this is going to go away. I'm paying the mortgage because I don't have a tenant now. Um, I'm, I'm paying utilities. I'm paying landscapers. I'm paying cleaning people. I'm... Like, I'm going to be paying a lot of things out, like painters and everything. Um, I'll keep you updated with that as well. But yeah, this is just, you know, tentative, constantly changing because my life is very chaotic. I'm like constantly in limbo. I've come a long way. Um, I still have a long way to go. This is very much a slow and steady wins the race type of situation. But I, uh, I plan on only going up from here. I love you so much. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day on purpose. Bye.